Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're gonna talk about my first 100 ounce that I bought and um, the pitfalls, the mistakes that I made, the lesson that I learned, I like to share with you guys. So potentially you can avoid uh, some of my, my mistakes and you can actually be a better stock and you can actually uh, excel in your investment journey by precious metal. Uh, either gold or silver guys so i will try to make it as short as possible so i stacked from uh, because i kept a record on all of them so i know exactly what i bought it for so i stacked uh, my silver uh, according to the price that i i paid for so from here on is the least i paid these are all domestic when it comes to uh towards the on my right side uh these are the international coins that i bought and i paid a hefty premium for those ones because we are in australia and uh, international coins in australia are expensive when compared to the domestic ones so um starting off from on my left side so we you can see i these are five ounce lots so anyway i paid a uh, close to spot uh, on these coins Today when I'm making this video, the spot price of silver just gone up a little bit. So today's spot price is $32 an ounce. So keep that in mind, $32 an ounce for 100 ounce. So it will be $3,200 for 100 ounce. So if you buy everything on a spot price, but I didn't buy everything on a spot price. So I will show you some of the um, uh, better buy that you can bought. So these lot over here that's the announce and i i paid almost um 35 dollars on this one so 36 dollars i i yeah 36 dollars for these two and um 40 dollars uh for these ones and um for 38 dollars for this lot and because the kookaburras are rare so i had to pay an extra premium for these ones that's another forty dollars on average on this ten um, ten ounce, uh, and similarly going on. So I paid almost fifty dollars on an average on these coins. These are four lots of international coins, and the cheapest one that I bought uh, in this hundred ounce is the two Perth Mint bars. They stopped making these bars at Perth Mint, so it's no longer available. So I'm hoping when I sell it, I get a decent price for this bus. So I bought it for sport price. Uh, and this one only cost me $31 for this uh, per ounce. And also this one, same price. And uh, the Canadian Maple Leaf had a big premium on it when it came out. So I bought it from the dealer straight away when it came out. So I got it for uh, $41 an ounce for this one. Uh, so all together, I spent almost uh, four thousand dollars for this hundred hundred ounce of my stack. That's my initial. But because when I started understanding my mistakes, I started going for bars rather than coins. Then I only started buying selected coins to keep my average down. So um, my take from this video is, guys, uh, you need to mix it up. So you need to balance your average. So total cost by stacking some bars at a uh, spot price that you can buy them doesn't matter what company or what mint it, it is from try to buy from domestic mints so you get a decent price close to the spot price so your average cost will come down so on an average uh, i spent 40 dollars on this lot on an average so um if i didn't buy these two uh, imagine guys if I didn't buy this two on a sport price my average will be close to 45 so that means like I spent an extra $500 on this lot so uh, keep this in mind every time you make a purchase you need to go with your brains not go with your heart that's the key don't get emotionally attached when you when you try to buy always use your brains check all the all the dealers website go for the best deal that is possible and try to buy uh, the coins directly from the mint when they release it. So that will be the cheapest you can buy. So when the mint release it, 
the dealers will also have the same coins but with uh, an extra one dollar premium on it so that's the difference you can save that money too so uh that's my uh, video for today i try to make it very short guys you hope you enjoyed this video and you can take some very valuable lessons from my mistakes <laughs>